The shave I have for you today on the Soap Thing Project is going to feature Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Bay Gum. This is day number six of the PAA Advent Calendar, and I'm going to tell you all about it coming up next. <laughs> Okay, so Bay Gum from PAA is actually fairly simple and straightforward. It is, according to the uh, paperwork that comes with every soap and aftershave in the uh, advent calendar, the description, the long-winded description that always goes in these, uh, indirectly speaks of it being a combination of uh, juicy fruit gum and Atomic Age Bay Rum. Which, uh... Sounds like something Douglas Smythe would do. Uh... He is a Bay Rum whore, without a doubt. <laughs> and he uh, has a habit of mixing Bay Rum with uh, seemingly random other things. Coconut Bay Rum uh, is a great example of that. So this is a scent that kind of leaves me going, oh, okay, that figures. Uh, it does have a very recognizable juicy fruit bubblegum sort of smell. The scent profile says juicy fruit, West Indian herbs, citrus, or excuse me, spices, and citrus notes. So, and it says yet to be released. It does not say uh, ghost of Christmas future. So who's to say if it will ever be released. That's uh, left less certain, let's put it that way. So, out of the tub, this is very bubblegum heavy. It's very juicy fruit heavy. <clears throat> but uh, once lathered, the, uh, the bay rum in it, I think uh, kind of becomes more pronounced. It is worth noting that Atomic Age Bay Rum is the only Bay Rum I think I've ever smelled. Well, I can't say the only one. It is a very, very rare example of a Bay Rum where I have smelled it and kind of liked it. Uh, most Bay Rums, I'm just like, uh-uh. That is not a scent that is for me. I do not like traditional Bay Rum. Do not like it in the slightest. Uh... This is more tolerable. And then you have this uh, juicy fruit sort of added on top of it. Uh, so, you already, you already have a very user-friendly bay rum. And then add to it the fact that uh, the bay rum scent is being drowned out by a different, in my opinion, more pleasing scent. I'd say this is a is, this is a decent uh, scent to have uh, in your lineup if you like bay rum. Again, who's to say if this will ever be released? It doesn't I uh, make that perfectly clear for us, but maybe eventually someday. So I think just for uh, just for the sake of creativity, I will go ahead and give this a uh, a thumbs up. Uh, but when it comes to my personal preferences and uh, functionally how I enjoy my scents, this is a scent that I could pretty much take it or leave it. It's not really doing much for me. It's not grabbing me in any kind of uh, convincing way. But yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up just for the sake of uh, creativity. This is the same Schick uh, Type L that I've been using for a while. I did go ahead and uh, give the Ted Pella blades a break. So this is the first use of a traditional Schick blade. And so far so good. Scent strength on the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Bay Gum 
is nothing too crazy. I'd call it a perfectly average three out of five on the sniffo meter. And for this shave, I'm taking down uh, roughly two days of growth, maybe slightly less, 44-ish hours maybe. All right, let's have a rinse. See how this goes. The, the typical places that don't want to shave easily. It's just not as close as the rest of my face. It's because it grows at such a weird angle that it makes it uh, It makes it hard to uh, to get a close shave on the first, second, or sometimes even third pass, for whatever that's worth. Okay, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Bay Gum. I'm not sure how I feel about having this on my face all day in terms of scent longevity, but hey, I'm here for your entertainment, so let's see how it is. Interesting, significantly more bay rum heavy. In fact, I would uh, say that there is uh, less of a juicy fruit scent in the aftershave than there probably should be. It's actually kind of puzzling how bay rum heavy this is. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> whatever. So yeah, that's it. That's the shave for today. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Bay Gum. This is day six on the PAA advent calendar, so we are moving right along uh, through the list of uh, the, the 12 shaves of Christmas. I know it's after Christmas, but this is when I decided I had time to do it, so this is when I'm doing it. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.